This is the disc classifier. You can separate the big and small part of rubber scrap after shredding process. The final size of the rubber chips is from 50 to 100 millimeters. We call this TDF chip. They could go through the screen to the next step. And the bigger stripes will go back into the shredder through the back conveyor to be cut again to meet your required size. chips now go into the grater. This machine could separate the steel wire and rubber. The vibratory conveyor keeps the wire and rubber separate and moves forward. This magnet machine can pick out the steel wire from those rubber. You can see the steel wire being extracted. It is fast, efficient and clean. Here, the rubber mulch, which is around 20 millimeters, is coming out from the steel wire. The rubber mulch drop into the hopper of the auger directly. We use two augers carry these mulch into the hopper of granulator. This machine can cut the rubber mulch into granules from 1 to 6 mm. We call it rubber crumb. You can change the screen inside of the granulator to control the size of the crumb. This white part is the tire's fiber. We use vibratory slot conveyor to separate the fiber from the rubber. The fiber drops down at the end of the conveyor and the rubber crumbs through the screen, then goes to the next step. the air transfer system. The crumb rubber moves to the bagging station through them. Here is the second magnet. We use it to clear the residual steel in the crumb. This is the fiber removal system. It can separate the tiny fiber from the crumb into the air transfer system. Look at these tiny fibers, just like the snow in Christmas. This is our final product, 5 mm rubber crump. They are collected and packed into the packing station right here. This is a dust removal system. It helps us to collect the dust and the other dirty things through the production to make the workshop clean and neat.